In this video, we're going to derive the famous uh, Black Scholes function pricing formula. Um, and let's recall what we have derived the last time. Um, this part, uh, which is a positive part of uh, the future stock price subtract the striking price, is a value of this option at a future time t. All right. And uh, um, if we multiply with e to the minus alpha t, which is uh, we compute the discounted price, and this is current value. And because there is randomness within, and we want to compute this uh, uh, conditional expectation given that uh, our current price, current stock price, is x uh, sub zero. And if the current price is x sub zero, we know that um, x sub t is a uh, geometric Brownian motion. As a result, it is the same as x sub zero times uh, e to the uh, mu t plus sigma times a standard Brownian motion. And because uh, um, this future time t, this little t is fixed right here, so we rewrite uh, this w of t as a standard normal random variable. Uh, with uh, mean zero and variance t. So as a result, we have this is sigma times square root of t multiply with z, and where this z is a standard normal random variable. Okay. As a result, and let's call this a star. And star can be rewritten as this is actually the expectation of e to the minus e to the alpha t and uh, uh, times x sub zero e to the mu t plus sigma square root of t z and then subtract k plus and because we have used uh, the current stock price being x0 so we can remove the condition okay. and now um, we need to compute this uh, expected value uh, first of all we notice that uh, um, this factor here is actually deterministic it's not random uh, because we have this uh, interest rate, or say a uh, um, fixed rate, um, we can pull it out, and what's left is the expectation of uh, this difference, positive part. And now we notice that this whole thing right here is a function of, uh, of the standard normal random variable d, so we can rewrite this expectation using the following formula. That is, if we have a random variable x function f, and this is computed by uh, integration from negative infinity to infinity f of x times uh, the PDF of, uh, uh, let's say this is x dx, and this is PDF of uh, capital X, this random arrow. Okay, now we apply this formula uh, right here. What happens is we can rewrite this as the integral using the PDF of standard normal random variable, which is we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, and we copy down this function. We replace the random variable z 
uh, by our little z, which is uh, the variable we're integrating, and this is subtracting plus n, then the PDF is in z, it's minus z squared divided by 2 dz. Okay. And we want to integrate um, this function. First, we notice that um, this thing right here, this is zero if uh, subtract k. So this whole thing subtract k is less than or equal to zero. And by the way, this is a function of z. If we solve z in this function in terms of k, x0, mu, and sigma, uh, we'll see uh, where we want to integrate uh, our this uh, um, uh, z from. So now let's solve it. Um, so if we solve it, um, we'll have something like, uh, so here I'll directly copy the, the result. For example, if we move this k to the right, and uh, um, and then we divide it by x zero, so this is non-zero. If this one minus k is greater than zero, if we solve this inequality, we'll have this is e to the mu t uh, plus sigma square root of uh, t times z greater than k divided by x0. And now if we take log at the same time, and then we subtract mu t, uh, and divide by sigma uh, square root of t, you will have something like uh, z is greater than natural log of uh, k divided by x0, subtract uh, mu t. divided by uh, sigma square root of t. And we call uh, this number uh, d. Okay. Um, as a result, if we plug in uh, this d right here, is because the integrand is only non-zero when z is greater than this d. As a result, uh, it's equivalent if we integrate this z uh, from d to infinity. And uh, uh, what happens is we can replace we can replace this plus by just uh, this function right here because we're only integrating uh, it's a non-zero part. So we, what we have here is x sub zero e to the mu t plus um, sigma square root of t z subtract k and e to the uh, negative z squared divided by two and t z. Okay. Um, now we, we can uh, actually split this integral into several parts. The first part is, of course, uh, the simplest one. It is uh, this part, okay, which we call it 2. And this part, we call it 1. So the 2 is nothing but uh, subtract uh, k. A times. Oh, I think I forgot to uh, multiply with the factor of uh, one over square root of two pi. So we have a one over square root of two pi, and we have a one over square root of two pi here, and dz. 
This one is the same as k times uh, the f function, which we use capital phi to represent. And this is, uh, uh, phi. by the way, phi is uh, defined by uh, the curve, the area under uh, the standard normal distributions PDF curve up to, let's say, uh, A right here. So uh, the area is phi of A. And this is x-axis. Okay. And uh, it is actually equals the probability of Z is uh, less than or equal to A. But let's look at um, the integration here it's from d to infinity it's actually uh, kind of this part okay and which is uh, 1 minus phi of a but by symmetry by symmetry one minus phi of a it is the same as uh, phi of minus a. So uh, we use this relation here. It is actually phi of minus a. And now let's look at, and by the way, this is our second part. And now let's look at the first part. Uh, the first part without this exponential factor, it is uh, uh, d to infinity and uh, um, x0 e to the mu t plus sigma square of t z um, and times e to the minus z square divided by 2 uh, 1 over square root of, of uh, 2 pi easy okay um, we'll use a trick we derived uh, the moment generating function in previous lecture uh, which is completing the square so we're completing the square for z and to do that we only need to rewrite so we pull out everything with z and this is e to the mu t has nothing to do with z and multiply with we're completing the square for z we'll have this is minus actually and this is z subtract uh, so we'll have this is uh, uh, mu, uh, sigma square root of t uh, square and because we have, uh, so uh, let, let me rewrite something here. So d subtract sigma uh, square root of t squared divided by 2 is, is minus uh, d squared divided by 2. And we have 2 minus here, so it's plus. Uh, sigma square root of t z, and then lastly, it's subtract sigma square uh, t divided by two. Okay, which means we have uh, this term as an extra factor, so we need to multiply this term back, and it is actually uh, e to the sigma square t divided by two. Okay, uh, and one over square root of 2 pi bc. By the way, uh, this is uh, the limit. Now, we can actually pull everything that has nothing to do with z out from this integral, and it is x sub 0 e to the uh, mu plus sigma square divided by 2 uh, times t okay, in front and this is integrand from uh, d 
d to infinity e to the minus z subtract sigma t square divided by 2 uh, which is and then uh, dz divided by uh, square root of uh, 2 pi and now what happens is we only have to make a simple change of variable so we let we let y equals uh, z subtract sigma square root of t and then dy is the same as dz um, and when y is d uh, when z is d y is nothing but d subtract uh, sigma square sigma square root of t so this is x zero e to the mu plus sigma squared divided by 2t and here is d subtract sigma square root t to infinity and this is e to the minus y squared divided by 2 and 1 over square root of 2 pi dy and now this becomes the PDF of uh, the standard normal random variable, which means we can use the earth function again, which is the CDF of uh, the standard normal function, right? Standard normal random variable right there. Uh, as a result, this is the same as x0 e to the mu plus sigma square divided by 2t, and this is uh, uh, phi of uh, sigma square root of t subtract and we're almost there now let's look back uh, right here uh, right here the only thing we haven't uh, computed is uh, this e to the negative alpha t right here so we only have to what we only have to do is we multiply this e to the negative alpha t and we acknowledge the fact that um, oops, we acknowledge the fact that alpha is mu plus sigma squared divided by 2 in order that our stock price is martingale and finally we have reached our Actual uh, European co option uh, price formula, which is um, so this factor here will cancel with this. And so our first term is, is simply just x0 times the uh, earth function evaluated as sigma square root of t subtract our d and uh, the second term is nothing but uh, the term right here which is uh, k but with an extra factor of the discounted factor of e to the negative alpha t and then multiply with uh, phi which is our function evaluated at minus d. So this is our uh, lateral pricing formula.